Carter 29 is back today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a first and third person part. So when, uh, sorry about the background noise, uh, but first a part where you touch it, you become first person, touch another part, and you'll become back and third person. So uh, hit that subscribe button and we'll get right into it right after this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to insert two parts. One is a first person part and one is a third person part, right? So the first person part we'll just name first person. Just like that. It's uh this is a pretty simple script. We can say um uh, call this one third person. Just like that, okay? I'm going to put them next to each other like that. Okay. So something I want to I'm just going to put a spawn right in front of it so that when I play the game I'll spawn there. Um, you can just also play push play here but anyway what we're going to be doing is um uh i'm going to show you how this is going to work first so if we go and play the game and we go into our player not in the workspace not our character but our actual player in players um we will find that our player has a property uh down here where is it um da -da 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 -da. Uh, the, the, oh, right here. Camera mode. Classic or lock first person. See this? So we can zoom out again once we're in classic, but not when we're in lock first person. So this is what we're going to be controlling. We're going to be controlling the specific player's um, uh, first and third person capabilities. So we're going to insert a script into our first person brick, and we're going to say script.parent.touch uh, colon connect function hit so um now i'm going to say if hit dot parent colon find first child uh humanoid then so what i'm doing is i'm basically checking to see that the thing that touched it is actually a player by checking for a humanoid very few things in the game have a humanoid but uh something i want to say is if you um if you have uh, NPCs in your game, then you'll get an error. So if you have NPCs, go ahead and add this line. If you don't, you don't have to add this line. But I'm going to say, if um, uh, game dot players colon find first child hit dot parent dot uh, name, then okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, player dot camera mode uh, equals lock first person. Okay. Pretty simple. Uh, oh, uh, we need to define a var variable. Sorry. N uh, right before the player dot camera mode, say local player equals game dot players uh, colon find first child uh, hit dot parent dot name. Okay. Now we're just gonna duplicate this script. Whoops. What did I do? Uh, sorry about that. All right. Third person script. And now we're going to change this to classic. And that is pretty much it. All we're going to do is we're going to push play. We'll be able to step on one brick and turn into first person. Step on the other and we'll be third person. It's pretty simple. See, now we're first person. We cannot scroll out. Now we're classic and we can scroll out. Classic. First person. So that's how to make first and third person blocks these can be uh cool features to games like obbies um and yeah so i hope you enjoyed that tutorial make sure to subscribe if you did and uh leave your requests for new videos on my wall on the group uh on roblox i'll have the link in the description make sure to join it and leave your requests in the wall all right see you guys next time bye